Hello and welcome to the tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade your PHP Fox website. So um, to get started here, I have logged into my uh, cPanel. I've also opened the uh, latest uh, version of the, uh, the the PHP Fox license and um, compressed all the necessary files. You can do this uh, via FTP as uh, recommended um, by PHP Fox, but um, in this case, I'm going to do it. Um, through file manager. So I see I've got my latest version here and the upload file I'm going to upload it like so and um, we can see this is being uh, uploaded here so while that's uploading We're also going to, we're going to take a look at the um, instructions here. So this is in the README file that's uh, included with the uh, license package. And uh, it basically says uh, if you want to save the hassle of upgrading this yourself, you can use the upgrade service. Uh, they do charge uh, $100 for this at PHP Fox. This includes the uh, the software upgrade as well, which is 50 And I guess 50 for the, um, the actual upgrade uh, service by the technicians. Uh, at Tweak Docs, they do uh, do it for twenty five dollars. So I'll be doing this through uh, Tweak Docs through the twenty five dollars, saving uh, half the price. And um, here you go. So preparing uh, the upload, you get three files: uh, Tools, Upload, and the README. So um, we've got a similar structure here, and it says to upload the um, the upload fo folder to your site using an FTP client be sure to overwrite any old files and uh, you can see down here this is what we've got going on well, you can't see it's just off your screen actually but it's about halfway done uh, the upload so um, we're uploading that uh, to our, our, our site now and um, that's basically it so once we've uploaded we just make sure the uh, the file permissions are, are set in the correct uh, way and this file here in the include folder settings uh, slash server dot set dot php we need to keep that because that's got all our original settings to our current php fox site and we can see here we want to keep the site the same way here is our uh, developer license here so this does need to be kept um, in the same same way it is now. So again, we're just waiting for the final few megabytes of our file to, to complete. So the previous upload file is here. You can see it's an empty folder. So I'm just going to remove that. Don't so we're almost done now. So there you go, the folder has been uploaded successfully. And there we see our upload folder. So I'm now going to uh, extract the um, contents of this. and we see here it is so what I'm going to do now is I just need to make sure that all the current information continues to be saved and not overwritten by the upgrade files. So we can see our file folder has all the information there, and uh, our theme folder also has some special themes included in it. So what we can do is we can um, simply copy these. Um, to the uh, upload 
folder. Anything that we want to keep. Just check in a few of the other files. And again, I have taken a full backup of this beforehand, just in case I do miss anything. Um, it will be included in the backup. So again, we've got our slide that we want to keep. And um, the file folder. I'm going to compress this just in case I, I need it later. So that's been saved. And um, basically I just need to override all the existing settings. So I'm also going to go into the include folder, setting folder. And I've got my server set there. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to copy this folder to the current upload folder, the new, new version. So I'm going to check this out now. I've got um, my new folders here, upload. So in the theme I should have my um, Harbinger theme here. Yes, there it is, with all the correct files. And in the includes folder, and the setting, I should have the uh, original server setting, and there it is. So that's all good to go. So now, this is where you can um, put a coming soon page or a maintenance page up, because you, you will have a few minutes of downtime while you upgrade the site files and the database. But um, this is uh, as expected. Uh, you can also revert if you have any problems back to your backed up version. So the downtime should be kept to a minimum. And uh, you can also do this at an off peak hour when you have uh, not many visitors on your site and you can check within your admin area um, how many visitors uh, you, ha you have on your site. It's just by uh, logging in and accessing the admin CP you'll be able to see exactly how many uh, guests. We've got 14 online right now, so it's not too bad. Um, we can make our way with the, uh, the install. So I've got my um, upload file here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to bit by bit remove, remove the old file. So I'm just going to delete that like so. Going to remove the include as well, and um, see these two files here. I can click and I can right click again to move them back to the root directory. So I'm going to remove those files. Then I've got install module static and theme module delete. Static and theme delete. So I'll go back into the upload, install, module, static and theme. I'm going to move these folders back to the original root directory. And let's just shuffle in those files back. There we go, so we've also got these files to replace. API index token. So API, we're going to delete that. Index, we're going to delete that. Token, we're going to delete that. So then we're going to go back into our upload file. API. Going to move that then back to the 
root directory index. Move all three of these back to the root directory, like so. So now all our files have been moved back. You can see our file folder is here. And um, our permissions are set to uh, 755. They will need to be 777. And as we can see by going to the um, site right now, there is an upgrade taking place. So um, once we've changed all the information, we basically add install.index.php to the end of the URL of your installation. So it's just your sites.com forward slash install forward slash index.php. Once we go there, we get taken to the um, the upgrade uh, process here. So it asks for our client ID, like so, and we agree to the terms and conditions. You can see that our server has been set up correctly. And we're now processing the updates. So include setting server setting. We may need to change that to seven seven seven. So you can see it's um, upgrading us automatically through the upgrade script. And we're going to wait a few, a few moments uh, for this process to complete. And there we go, we've successfully upgraded to PHP Fox 3.30. And we'll review the site. Make sure it's all okay. Our site is fine. So there we go, we've just upgraded to the PHP Fox. 3.30 and thanks for watching. Bye for now.